Hey, 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 guys. Welcome to the FTS Free Time segment. To me, Rudy, to me, Rudy, to me, Rudy. We are back. It's a new season. It's a new day. Back again. 2020, 2021 season. Premier League season is back. German season, Bundesliga is back. La Liga, Sierra, uh, everything is back. Short football fucking season is back, but I'm fucking having my boy Kukana Wana woman with nothing. <laughs> finally, Bana. Finally, 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 we are back. FTS free time to go up at least. So, Poland is not going to be able to get the same. We missed football. Some people were like, I'm a certificate, so they had time to reflect on themselves. Others were still lifting, you know, we're just lifting. I'm lifting something, you see? I'm lifting. Okay, okay. Anyway, I go by the name Ali. Uh, I'm the and I am Rico. I'm on the Anita Bradley. Shukran Koku to follow everyone. Excuse me, excuse me. What did you just say? At you? I'm Rico. What the fuck is that? That's my nickname. My new nickname. From when? It's winning mentality. My name is when I win I'm Rico. When I lose I'm Brad, okay? Anyway, the song in the background is a new Premier League 2020-21 theme song. I hate it. It's kind of nice. I it's hate it. Nice. It's kind of nice. It's I know Laza. I know Laza. But how do they change the theme song of the Premier League? Yeah. Now that's the one I love. Uh, because of Butu Windu. That's Windu, the so one yeah. I love. But for me, I think the other one is good. The other one is good. How is it good? Tell me, how is it good? It's kind of nice. It's kind of jovial. No. It's but the, different the thing I like with the new theme, it shows the past champions. They know Nisha Kitu Moja, Una Jokuna Malini, Ona Kulukona, Manta Lukonga Namajama. It is Kasirisha. Somebody said Premier League is a farmer's league. Please comment up on Chini Kamani Kweli. Is Premier League a farmer's league? Because Nikangale will be up on Aliko, sir. And Nikangale will be on a joke. Ninja, Ninja, Premier League is not a farmer's league. How can it be a farmer's league, Bana? How can you say it's a farmer's league, seriously? When in one woman Kuba and Samati, Premier League is a farmer's league. Are you fucking dumb? Is there something wrong with you? I'm in you, but all in all, like I said, my Premier League is back. I'm so happy. Uh, there were games, humongous games everywhere. Yani, all teams in Akazikopo, apart from Mwangino Wajanza. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, <it's more laughs> Rajua, it's like, it's like, it's like when, when, you're, in school, you know? when you're in boarding school. Uh, the cool kid never came on Sunday. Yeah. The foolish kids came on Sunday. No, let me, t- let me just uh, refresh that. Yeah. The cool and dumb kids, <laughs> you know, those people are my are the ones who came uh-huh. <laughs> later. But the clever boys like us who are focused, who want to finish with B or A, you know, A is the championship, you know, A minor is maybe the Ch- uh, Champions League, and B is the Europa League. You see, imagine I went to Europa League without even qualifying. <laughs> anyway, guys, guys, enough with the banter, we'll never finish this banter anyway guys welcome to the fts free time segment mm-hmm. we talk about football sing about football laugh about football yeah. fight about football and remember guys this is one show that has no room for racism as you see we are behind a black wall so that shows you how much black lives matter yeah i'm kind of black lives so. really really matter any black or men i seen my black or men by the way it really really matters it's big guy. yeah so Guys, feel free also to join in. Give us your comments. Mm-hmm. To Tukane, give us your banter if you are from that team, if you are from those Ndubi gangs. Yani, just give shout out your just comments. Have, just have a share our respect. show. You can always, always press that green button below your screen, guys. Mm-hmm. Everyone mm-hmm. is free and everyone is invited to join us. Yeah. So remember, this is a show by the fans and for the fans. Mm-hmm. Like our pages. Follow us everywhere at Football Today Show KE. YouTube, subscribe, Facebook, Football Today Show KE. Everywhere. Instagram. Mm-hmm. Even Pornhub. He's on. Me no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a clean guy. I don't uh, grab. Okay. I'm just joking. Thank you to everyone tuning in. So, first things first. We just... We'll do a review of the match week one. Game week one. Mm-hmm. Game, week one. Game, game week one. For the clever kids. So, listen briefly. Yani... Be attentive. Yeah, we'll all be attentive. I know it, 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 it might be kind of boring, but... No, it won't be boring because we'll be fast on it. If you, love the football, facts. if you love football, you'll love this. Mm-hmm. And guys, remember, if you want to join our WhatsApp group, fan chat, mm-hmm. kindly, kindly, just message us your number, your phone number. Mm-hmm. We will add you to our fan chat. Like yesterday, we really had a very, very heated uh, debate. It was one of the like best. Four hours. 
one of the best one of Four the best hours, one of the best debate, match yeah. ever yeah so so far match week one we start with Fulham versus Arsenal by the way I'm wearing a Walcott kit when you are Arsenal I love you I still love you Walcott please wherever you are you're a master okay let's start Fulham Arsenal we beat a small team called Fulham from London across the London side 3 nil. It was one of the best games of the season. Okay, one of the best games of the season, not the whole season, but beginning of the season. It was a fantastic game because almost all the debutants played well. Willian was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Gabriel, oh my lord! Although he almost fucked us up and considered a goal, but he scored a beautiful end. Jamal a ball. He thinks that in League One, ana ana finish at ana hatisha. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? But luckily he there's one start I want to say. I can no follow. Gabriel in his first game, Ali Fikia Talia Hari Maguire Mabao. The whole season Maguire from Gabo Moja kwa Premier League. Game one, Gabriela Mifunga Sham match. Yeah, Yotali, so. Yeah, last season. Oh, which game? I don't remember. It was a shitty game. Ooh. I think you won with a penalty. Or... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Debbie Chance, mm-hmm. Gabriel and William impressed Arsenal as Arsenal blew away from Motet Fulham mm-hmm. in the opening game of the Premier League season. Mm-hmm. And now, uh, for me, the former Chelsea William had a hand in all three goals. Yeah, he was and good. Gabriel, Gabriel Magales, right? Yeah. Magales, Magales, Gabriel Magales, Magales. Mm-hmm. Oh, David Tyru is watching. Thank you so much, David. David. David Tyru from Turkey. Mm-hmm. So the twenty-three million Magales, signing from Lille, scored he rejected his first by the game way. in English football. Yeah, imagine he scored on his debut. For me, Arsenal were highly impressive, while Fulham caused themselves too many problems at the back. Mm-hmm. But I think um, uh, the style of play which Fulham were trying to do that day was not any really blending with them very well. Uh, yeah. If you try to be you, you, like a high octane football, you remember last time the Liverpool yeah, play? Yeah, yeah. Fulham tried that, but defensive wise they were too vulnerable. When they try high octane and they lose the ball, we just countered them. Goals. All the goals were counters except the corner. Mm. That showed you the deficiency of Fulham. They should just be patient. They should just be calm, and everything will be okay. Both sides, both sides have played and won at Wembley. Yeah, twice for the Gunners in the forty-eight days since the last Premier League season finished. Yeah, but I think Wembley should be called the Emirates Stadium. I, I'm just saying. Uh, absolutely true. I'm just saying. I concur. With I'm that. just saying because I we don't do this. That. Daniel O. Ma- Mahoney. Mm. Thank you for watching. Thank you for friend. watching, Dan. Thank you, watching. thank you, thank you. So Ateta admitted that he was surprised at how well Gabriel play, played on his first game since March when League One was cut, curtailed. Mm-hmm. Because honestly, this guy hadn't played a competitive game for like mm-hmm. five, four months, mm-hmm. and in his first game, he just uh, turned up very well. Mimi ni shangabla licheza man. Oh, this guy. I didn't uh, you remember even when we were making the FTS uh, fantasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you not to put Gabriel. I literally told you not to put Gabriel on your team. But what happened? He just he was brilliant. For me, for me, as for me, Gabriel was man of the match for me on that Fulham versus Arsenal game. Uh-huh. Gabriel had more touches of the ball, one twenty one. Wow. He attempted more passes, one thirteen, and completed more passes, one hundred and seven, than anybody else on his debut in English football. Okay, that was that's a fantastic. Uh, those are fantastic start uh, starts. But for me, my man of the match will go to William. Why? He was so impressive on the day. He, mm-hmm. you know, he was the highest creator for Chelsea last season. Nobody knew that. And uh, if you compare William to all of our creators, he was still top. So he came, he stamped his authority, and he showed everyone that this is what I'm coming here to do. I'm coming here with my experience to at least assist more, score more, and you know, guide the youngsters like Okinasaka and uh, Martinelli. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, anyway, that thing. Yeah, it was a nice game. No, it wasn't a nice game. It was a fantastic game. It was a very, a fantastic very nice game. game. Let's very move nice. on to our other London brothers. 
Crystal Palace. It was the second match day. Second match, yeah. For Premier League. Yeah. Crystal Palace versus Crystal Palace of the Saints. Mm-hmm. The but Eagles versus the Saints. I was so happy the way the Eagles played that day. Although they were defensive, yeah. I didn't like the way they were. They started off really, really funny, but I didn't like the way they were. The game ended one goal to nil. So mm-hmm. Crystal Palace won the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, from a goal from Wilfred Zaha and an assist from Townsend. Just a question before you continue. No one is wanting Zaha. For me, I think on that day, mm. I watched that game actually. Mm. It proved to me why people don't want Zaha. Why? First of all, he's very mature. The guy is only, he's, he's currently, I think, 27, 28 no. years. That shows he's you so the way. He's mature. No, you know. Second thing, mm-hmm. he's not clinical. It's like. It's like he's not yet settled in the game. The it game was, is that. Listen to me, listen to me, motherfucker. Listen game. to me. No, listen to me. It's like he's not yet in the game. But in the first game. He's very good, actually. Very, very good. Mm. But And he blew away so many chances on that game. But honestly. Due to poor clinical finish. But honestly, it mm-hmm. was the first game of the season. Mm-hmm. You have to be a little bit rusty. Yeah. Yes, you've played some small friendlies here and there, mm-hmm. but friendlies and the league is something different. You can compare them to the league. Remember guys, you can join into our live free time segment. Let's mm-hmm. talk about football. Give us your updates. Give us your stats. And if you feel you disagree with what you're saying, mm-hmm. kindly just prove us wrong. Yeah, just click on the green button over there, then we will add you to the camera. Join our conversation. This is a free space. Usiogope kila mtu wako free kuingia. It's a free world man majama. Feel happy. The Ivory Coast Ford who mm-hmm. has repeatedly been linked with a move away from the Selhurst Park mm-hmm. was unmarked when he produced a clinical finish from Andros Townsend's impressive cross. That was a fantastic goal by the way. Yeah, yeah. He showed that Actually he even goal. Nathan Redmond wasted a great chance following a sleek Southampton move while Palace keeper Vicente Guaita mm-hmm. produced an excellent save keep out a volley by Che Adam. Yeah, it was a good game. I like the way both teams were playing, but as I said, Crystal Palace were just a little bit defensive. That's why I, you complained about Zaha being not crucial, you know, yeah, yeah. was it decisive? Yeah. That's why. But if they were more expansive like Southampton, by the Southampton missed a lot of chances. Yeah, yeah. Ings was shit. He gave me one point. For me, for me, for me. Let me, let me, let me, let me Ings, comment on that. I'm getting Ings. to that. I'm getting to that. He okay. wasn't shit. Trust me. Then why did he trust me? One listen to me, listen to me. He wasn't sure. Goita then produced a reflex save to deny Danny Ings a last gasp. Equalizer. Uh, Saints defender, I'll get to that. Saints defender Carl uh, Walker Peters, the Tottenham guy. <laughs> did they take him officially? Yeah, he was signed. Oh, oh. going the other way. Oh. Mm. Had a red card downgraded to a yellow in the second half after referee John Jonathan Moss reviewed his foul on Tyreek Michel on the pitch side monitor. For me, for mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. the man of the match on that game was Vincente Guaita. Vincente Guaita? Yeah. For he you, was the man of the match. You think Vincente Guaita was the man of the match? The man of the match. Because of the re- fantastic replay saves and everything? My oh. friend, Palace worked hard all over the pitch. Mm. But keeper Vicente Goita still had to make several fine saves and he saved his best for last as he produced an excellent stop to deny Danny Ings. It was a clear header. A clinical finish from Danny Ings. Gola Akatoa. But if you want to be clinical, you can a good save. No. Unga. Najua. Score it. Gola, Gola, Gola Funkiki. That's something which you should all know. This is a boy by the way played. Your boy as I told you as is a very good dribbler. Yeah, that's a very very nice game. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for him. Uh, but honestly, me, I think Eze has a very bright future. Mm-hmm. I think he can go to high Chile, mm-hmm. like Zaha. He can even surpass Zaha. I re- I know, and I truly, truly know that it can happen. By the way, man, I just trust uh, Eze. Nabona, uh, why is Hodgson afraid of unleashing all of them? Eze, Zaha, Townsend, and are you in one game? As you said earlier, it's the first day. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, a thriller for me on that Saturday night. A thriller for me on that Saturday night. Ah, 
<laughs> remind me that villa from liverpool versus league that is truly i know there are many games ahead of us there like that seven match day weeks coming but this for me has to be a contender of game of the season last year liverpool started 4-1 beating norwich yeah. the comfortably uh, uh, let me let me ask you this mm-hmm. why do the premier league give liverpool uh, Newly promoted. I know what. No, nah, no, 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 no. Stop being bad. Why are they You giving? started here saying this is a free show. We no, talk it's about a free fair show. things. Let me talk. Oh, that you're saying an unfair thing. That's no, what we'll let you talk. Let That's me unfair talk. thing. No, mother. That's fucker. unfair thing. You said it's a free show. Let me talk. I'm just that's asking unfair. a question. No, that's so unfair. Like fuck off, mother. No, fucker. no, that's unfair. Seriously, you have oh, an agenda with Liverpool. Okay, okay talk. Okay, talk. Okay, talk. Okay, talk, talk. At the end of the day, you really hate Liverpool. But I'm asking, why do they keep on? Or is it a coincidence? They keep on getting... The first match days, they keep on getting newly promoted it's sides. Only last year and this year. Why? It's like that. Even if there was... Last, year, last year, what did Arsenal get? Uh, we got... It was which team? West Ham what? Newcastle. We got Newcastle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't remember. You got... Which team did you get last Chelsea. year? Chelsea. But what did you do to them? Yeah, we actually, we actually. You did them. this, then this, then this. Yeah. To them. But why? Why do they get this newly promoted side? Nah, but nah, anyway, nah. if you Premier League guys are match fixing these fixtures, fuck you. These guys, I don't know. Manchester Leeds, United guys finished Leeds third. United. They finished third in the season. As we finished eighth, we don't complain. This Leeds days you're United. like Arsenal fans. You are like Leeds us. You're like United. Days. Leeds United. No, stop. A shocker. Morning. Leeds United pulled off a shocker, a shocker game. The game mm-hmm. ended at four three. Uh-huh. Goals from Salah. Mm-hmm. Salah actually Salah hit two penalties. Yeah. Salah hit a hat trick with two penalties. With two penalties, <laughs> and a Van Dyke goal. Which is ahead. They all scored through set piece. Yeah, they all scored through set piece. <laughs> Except one one. But yeah, that was also a set piece rebound yeah. for Salah. Yeah. So they all scored those four goals in set pieces. While Leeds scored those three goals. Without set pieces. Yeah, from Harrison, Bamford, and Clitch. By the way, I was disappointed with Bamford. I was disappointed with Bamford. I told you they could have started with Rodrigo, then replaced Rodrigo with Bamford. Because if they could have replaced Rodrigo with Bamford, Bamford could have not given a stupid penalty like that. So, Leeds United made a stupid. dramatic return to the Premier League Shocking. after a 16 year absence. Oh my god. As they produced a magnificent display. Mm-hmm. A magnificent display to lose a late penalty in a thriller against champions mm-hmm. Liverpool oh, at Anfield. But honestly, um, that was it, the best. It team. hurts me so bad when I say champions Liverpool. Me, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, honestly, really, 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 really. But the the, the day really, really pierces me through. That's nothing. Imagine yes. me saying. When did the champions touch him? What the fuck? Even if there's not much in one Speaking, sentence, speaking of Tottenham champ- Hotspur, guys, champions. if anyone is uh, inter- interested in the all or nothing Tottenham Hotspur, kindly hit us up. We can hook you up with a, with a whole series. All of them. Yeah. All of them. From one to nine. We, yeah. got, we got you. When you when if you've you- not watched the Tottenham all or nothing, mm-hmm. Amazon series, kindly look for it. And if you can't find it, hit us up. We'll hook you up. Mm-hmm. So Liverpool back in action after winning their first title in thirty years. <laughs> Actually, born. this game was all about time. Yeah. First title in thirty years led three times, but were pegged back on each occasion by Marcelo Marcelo Bielsa's fearless side before his superb match was settled by hat-trick hero Mohamed Salah's mm-hmm. sport kick. I told you, but. You were will come as our team. You had talked ill about this team. And ah. I told you, Leeds are not going anywhere this season. Yeah. Leeds will stay up and they will stay up comfortably. I predict a top 10 finish for Leeds. Teams like West Brom gone. I'm so sorry. I love Gibbs because he's there, <laughs> but he's going. He's going down. He with his van which I don't Anyway, know. Leeds looks to be leaving Anfield with a fully deserved point only for new 30 million striker Rodrigo on a substitute to produce a shocking challenge on Fabinho in the 88th minute, leaving Salah. Why do you do that? Liverpool victory after a serious scare. So Why do you do that? I never watched this game. Was okay. Rodrigo okay? That was a penalty all day long. You know, Fabinho pushed the ball. When Rodrigo put his leg between his legs, 
What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Why are you thinking you're going to dance with him or what? This is a football match. You know, and I didn't understand why he is a striker. Get the fuck out of there. Go in front. That was a hell of a game. But you fucked up with only one decision, one chance. And he had chances. And he messed it up too. So Salah made it a nightmare start for last season's uh, championship winners when mess. he drilled home a penalty in the fourth minute after his shot was handled by another Leeds new boy, Germany defender Robin Koch. Well, that's, uh, that's a boy to watch this season. I like him so much. He's mm-hmm. so, so versatile. He can play uh, both sides of defense, left back, right back, and also center back. So he's a good uh, defender, by the way. I like him so much. I like him so much, so much, so much. So for you, who was the man of the match? For me, obviously. Obviously, even, you know, the Egyptian King Salah. That was your thing? Salah. Yeah. Salah is the first player to score on the opening day of four consecutive league seasons for Liverpool. He's the only second to do so in the Premier League for any club after Teddy Sheringham. Yeah, maybe Teddy did it for... He's clearly the man of the match. See. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's leave Liverpool by now. Is there any other team? Oh, yeah. Our beach team. Another thriller, <laughs> another thriller on the Saturday was West Ham versus Newcastle. I'm sorry, but I usually say beach team because Newcastle is our beach team. We beat them always regularly when they have first stars. Of all, so. First of all, it was a very, very... Actually, Mike Ashley proved to us how his signings were pivotal. Yeah. He but... played almost all his signings except Ryan Fraser. Yeah. And I don't know why I love. No, Ryan Fraser didn't play. Remember since the restart? Yeah, he didn't play at all at all. I, I think he played only once or never. He, he never played. Re- he never played. Yeah, he never played. Yeah. You see, and Wilson was usually playing. So in terms of match fitness, in terms of um, the physicality of the player, mm-hmm. it was down to Dogo because that's why he had to sit out. And so he was on the bench. So Newcastle won the game, two goals to nil, mm-hmm. beating West Ham. Mm-hmm. Uh, goals from um, Callum Wilson, the new signing. Hendrik. There are other new signings. The, the guys had a debutant goals. They all had debutant goals. Mm-hmm. So that was it. And assists were from yes. Hendrik mm-hmm. and Almiron. Well, Almiron also is a very good player. I didn't understand why he started on the bench, but it's the first game, so yeah. we, uh, we can't, uh, we can't uh, complain much. Debutants Callum Wilson and Jeff Hendrick both scored as Newcastle made a winning start to the 2020-2021 Premier League season against an surprising West Ham. Mm-hmm. So sorry, Moyes. Wilson, <laughs> a 20 million summer signing from Bournemouth, was a threat throughout as the Magpies won their opening game for the first time since 2012. Yeah, Manchester, maybe 2013, 2013 14, man, you beat them and the game they but I don't know. Arsenal you know, beat fact, them yeah, twice. Yeah. Then Everton beat them. Then Man City, but he started with them. But then they six goals or five. You know they have been starting very badly. But I also commend Steve Bruce. He's yeah. really trying with this team. Actually, His signings, Steve, you know, Steve Bruce sides were were well worth their victory, despite the Hammers twice hitting the crossbar. Yeah, you know, hitting the crossbar is one thing. But me, I don't care if you hit the crossbar ten times. You remember the day we played against you? When they gave themselves 14 shots, yeah. it didn't matter. Yeah. No, you still got the three points and went away. Yeah. That's so, the point. So, who was your man of the match for oh, the game? Me, I, I hope and uh, this player continues playing well. And uh, he is a star. And I know because of his experiences where I've known him, Jeff Hendrick was my player. Mm-hmm. Funny yeah. thing, funny thing, I concur with you. Everyone was all about Callum Wilson, but for me, Jeff Hendricks had an assist. Yeah. Had a goal, mm-hmm. and he had a very very nice game. Yeah, yeah. good best. passes, good interceptions, yeah. good runs. Yeah. So for me, for me it was Jeff Hendricks too. Jeff Hendricks. He came from Burnley. From Burnley, free transfer. That's another player who Burnley. You remember after the race that? Yeah. They forgot. I don't. I'm, I'll, I'll say forgot. Yeah. They forgot about. <laughs> they forgot about some people. They forgot to give. Him Aaron Lennon. Mm-hmm. Jeff Hendricks. Mm-hmm. What about Takowski? Takowski is wanted by West Ham. West Ham. Uh, at the beginning of the transfer, they say uh, Burnley wanted 50. Now it has changed to 30. I don't know why. And Takowski is a very fantastic player. Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, the Newcastle game and the West Ham game were the end of 
was the end of Saturday's match day. Mm-hmm. So we skipped to Sunday. Yes. The first game was West Brom. This was, this was a this, this was a pity game honestly. Yes, I know. Uh, the game by the way ended Leicester three West Brom nil. But it's a pity game because I'm angry the way um uh, the game went. West Brom really didn't show or play the way you know they came to this match playing three five two. Mm-hmm. I hate that formation from them. They never played three five two as a championship. Now they come into the Premier League, they start defending. What the fuck is that? Look at Leeds. They play four one four one, and they continued like that. So West Brom could have continued playing four two three one. Pereira, Matias Pereira playing on the whole at the CAM. He could have played well. It's so goals are from Castan, mm-hmm. your your boy, and two penalty goals from yeah, obviously Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy. So this game was I think a little bit flat until the second half. What do you think about it? It was too flat. Too flat. Yeah, Jamie Vardy scored a second half penalty double as Leicester condemned West Brom to a disappointing return to the Premier League. But that ground is a very hard ground to go. The whole thing. We all know that. The thirty-three year old rep- repeated the f- repeated the feat ten minutes later after Dara O'Shea tripped James Justin, so scored two penalty. Uh, that was a fucking game. Yeah, who was your man of the match? Obviously, Jamie Vardy for me. Mm, for me, man of the match team of the first time. Hmm. Had a nice game. Yeah, Vardy because An of eye catching debut in which he showed some mm-hmm. serious attacking intent mm-hmm. and the goal was a bonus for the Belgian. Ah, Castagne, Castagne. Yeah, he if you're a FTS guy if you're a fantasy guy, take the Castagne on your that's a tip by the way, free tip. Take Castagne. This guy is a good player. He can play on the right or left. Take Timothy Castagne. Yeah, he can be a left back or right back. He's an ambidextrous footballer by the way. Just like Justin, by the way. So honestly, I mean, I think that the game, I didn't like the way it was. That's why I can't say much about uh, the game. Actually, Vadi yeah. equals Vanis Roy's record. Another record? Yeah, Vadi has scored in all five of his Premier League appearances against West Brom, equaling Rud Vanis Roy's ah. record of the most away games versus an opponent in the competition with a 100% scoring <coughs> record. That's so fine. Yeah. Oh my lord. It's a milestone for Jamie Vardy. Yeah. Fuck him though. Yeah. So refused to come. The other Sunday match day was Tottenham that is another good game. Versus the Everton, the Toffees. I was really impressed by James Rodriguez and Alan. But let me just say the midfield trio of Alan, uh, James Rodriguez and Abdullah Dukore. Those three players are going to be big for to- uh, sorry, Everton this Everton season. won the game, one goal to me. Mm-hmm. A goal from Calvert Lewin, an assist from Digne Lucas Digne. Mm-hmm. Dominic Calvert Lewin, brilliant header, ensured new look Everton made a flying start to the Premier League season with a victory at Tottenham. But we have to be fair. Mm. Was that goal uh, legal? Mm. Why? I'm just asking, was it fair that goal? For me, it was fair. The free kick way it was taken. Uh, for me, the free kick wasn't fair. Nah, so it shot the goal wasn't fair. Yeah. It was so bad. I really the real The actual goal was okay. But yeah, the what led okay. to the goal wasn't fair. Yeah, so me, I'm just saying, uh, uh, yes, I'm an Arsenal guy. Mm-hmm. But, you know, honesty is the best thing. Mourinho was robbed, honestly. And I felt his anger. It was so bad. Yes, I felt good because they lost. <laughs> obviously, <laughs> Arsenal guy, obviously, but it was so unfortunate for them to lose that way. Because if everything was okay, especially when that big headed guy Richardson would have just squared the ball to Calvert Lewin, the game could have ended 2 0 or something. But I won't be mad. I went to under classes this time, I'm chilled. Yeah, no pressure, no pressure. Anyway, Spurs boss Jose, Jose Mourinho was unhappy with Everton's goal, mm-hmm. claiming the free kick. Which led to Calvert Lewin's winner was taken from the wrong place. Yeah, I pity Mourinho because it's the truth. It's the truth, Kabisa, because that was unfair. So unfair. But over the 90 minutes, Spurs were distinctly second best, and the lack of threat was summed up by the fact that Harry Kane only touched the ball twice in Everton's penalty. Oh my lord. So that's one of the biggest problems there. Ah, 
Yani Mkeita played only 7, I don't know, it was 10 minutes of the Fulham game, but he and touched he had, the ball. And more touches than more Hurricane. Touches Hurricane. Who played 90. Do we loan Mkeita to them or what? Maybe. Because yeah. Son, he... But that can happen. I don't think that can happen. Yeah, never. As an auto no, But I think... I, okay, that was... I'll talk anyway, so, Son Heung Min was Spurs most threatened player. He didn't do nothing in the first half when nah, he, he nah. set up chances stop, for Kane stop, and Ali. Stop trying to put, I'm just look trying, for positive I'm just trying to say no. No, I won't let you talk there. Talk, At least. No, no. You see, but who? No, I couldn't. Who was your one of the match? I won't let you talk about that. Amen. Thing. James Rodriguez. Okay, I'm trying to look for another guy who was impressive. If Richardson could have scored that goal, then he played Richardson. Uh, by the way, by the way. Or he could James have Rodriguez inspired yeah. all around him as he sparked in Everton's midfield, producing a classy performance which bodes well for the future. How much Rodriguez? I love that guy. I love that kid. Okay, yeah. he's older than me, that guy. So we skip to Monday, Monday Night Football. That was a shocking game. From Sheffield and Wolves. That was a shocking game, my brother. Connie, what did you expect? Wolves won no, the game to yes. to nil. What did you expect? Obviously. I expected a tight game, maybe a one nil or a two one or maybe three two. But two goals in the first six minutes. Who does that? Sheffield had one of the best defensive records in the Premier League last season. They were number two in the clean sheets or number three. Three. They were number three, right? Yeah. But still, they were four, in top, number four. Number four. Yeah. But they were in the top. That shows you. But they considered the one of the least in uh, the league. They were so top four. Who will beat Sheffield in six minutes? The game ended, the six game. Yeah, so the it's game short. ended in six minutes. Uh, so goals from Jimenez and Ruben Saiz. And Saiz. Assists from Podens and Neto. Castello Podens. Castello I like that Podence. guy. Yes. I love so, kid, man. Wolf, Wolf, Wolf's boss, Nuno Espirito Santo, says he believes something special is being built at the club after he celebrated a new contract with a two nil at He said that three years ago. We are still waiting. Nuno signed a th- new three-year on Sunday, new three-year deal on Sunday, yeah, keeping him at the club yeah. until 2023. The day he came, uh, championship, he brought Wolves to the league, something special. They finished eighth, something special. They went to Europa League, knocked out, something special. Now he has signed a new contract, something special. Same to us, Arsenal fans. We expect something special with the Obamang. He signed the contract, oh, we bought him, oh. So for you, uh, who was the man of the match? Raul Jimenez, I like him. That's a, that's an easy thing. Yeah, Jimenez was one of the best forwards yeah. in the Premier League last season and picked up where he left off with an excellent all-round display. Mm-hmm. As well as his superb finish for the opener, he had good movement throughout and held the ball up well. <laughs> so for, for, that's for you. For me, mm. it's a surprise. Cool. For me, it was size. That guy did okay. He defended well. Yeah, he kept a clean sheet. Well, yeah, I understand you were yeah, for, me, for me, it was nice. But yeah, you have weird choices of. I, you, if you could have been a coach, I think even Manuel could be relegated. I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> I'm not. Me. So the last game of the game week was shocking Martin game. Shocking game. The well anticipated game from shocking Brighton game. Shocking versus Chelsea. Shocking game. Chelsea won the game ah. three goals to one. A goal from Jorginho, James, and Zuma. Shocking game. Funny thing, you buy strikers, you buy attacking midfielders, then Shocking. your defenders come to the rescue. But you know, that's life. No, you know, me. Life is always unfair. Wanna play it well. Mm-hmm. But it was still shocking. The team was in disarray. Everyone was confused. No one known how, known how to pick someone out. No one. Any kill and go fall. It was shocking. Brighton had a consolation goal from Torsan. Trossard mm-hmm. and a very good assist from your boy Lamptey. Yeah, you have to say former Chelsea. Former Chelsea coach. For former Chelsea player. Sorry. <laughs> Chelsea Chelsea right. Right. That kid should go to Barcelona or Arsenal. Anyway, if Arsenal. He would be a good fit for Arsenal. If actually. we sell Bellerin. Very perfect fit for Arsenal. If we sell anyway, Bellerin. Frank Lampard says his expensively reshaped Chelsea side have to have intentions to be up there with the champions Liverpool after they began their campaign with victory at Brighton. But uh, Chelsea finished 33 points adrift of the Reds last season and lost both league fixtures against them but have spent around 200 million this summer. You know, it's like they didn't play 11 games, so <laughs> the 11 games behind Chelsea, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. 
So for me, everyone is all about oh, is all about on is all on Timos and Kai Havertz asses like yo, these guys never perform. These guys. It's only one that. fucking game. Guys, guys, guys. It's only one game. Time, see, for me, you can't just hit the ground running on the first game. Yeah, it was only one. Game. A lot of players, even speaking, one game. even one Van game. Persie, Cristiano Ronaldo, except Messi, obviously. All of them had bad games on their first matches. Very true. Even other than the first seasons. Very true. Babatov. Like, yeah. Kane. Even like a, so, even you forgot to name this legend. Pepe. Pepe. Pepe had a very bad season last year. Even uh, for me, he's still having a bad season. Even Maguire had a bad season last yeah, year. Yeah, he's still having but a bad season. This season I'm very sure yeah. Maguire will be okay. You know he went to Greek and he was got some Greek talk so So for me when I was pacey and prominent in the victory, winning a twenty third mini penalty when he was all down by Brighton keeper Matt Ryan. Jorginho scoring the resulting spot kick. I like Jorginho. So, who copied who? Did Bruno Fernandes copy Jorginho during his penalty signature move, or did Jorginho copy Bruno? I don't like to brag, but you know, I followed jo- jo- Bruno and Jorginho while they were both in Syria. I know some idiots out there didn't know Bruno was in Syria. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm, an, uh, I, I'm just saying the truth. So, and Joginio started that hop thing first. Hop, penalty hop thing. Yeah, he started yeah. it first. Then Bruno started it, started doing it while he left the inter- Italy and did it in Portugal for his sporting. Oh. So people didn't know about it. So they thought that it was Bruno, but initially it was Joginio. He did it there all through. Anyway, the new signing, Timo Vana. I have bad news for Chelsea fans actually. The new signing Timo Werner had eyes strapped to his leg at full time following the collision to win the penalty, but mm. said he would be fit to face Liverpool in Sunday's game at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, he hoping he'll be fit. That's a very Brighton good Brighton also lost summer signing Adam Lallana to injury before the break, but were back on level terms after 54 minutes when Leandro Trossard's 20 yard shot screamed past Chelsea's. The she guy is short. Keeper. It's like putting me in a goalkeeper's post. He, he's short. So what's happening to Chelsea? Because they're, they're so good Mendy. everywhere. They're side Mendy. Everybody knows that. You know, the thing about why, why I hate this transfer season mm-hmm. is everything is out there in the open. If somebody is being signed, you'll know. You'll just know. Mm-hmm. The only signings that people were, were not sure of, they just very few, like maybe Sancho to Manette. Because the Banta Club... I'll confuse the season, I won't lie. But it was a big surprise everyone, that's a fact. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, so yeah, so the signing this season, Yanni, it's confusing, so you, you you can't say anything about it. So for me, let me say let me say yeah. some few words about that Chelsea game. For me, Chelsea fans, mm-hmm. relax, relax. First of all, Timo Vanna and Kai Havertz will really have a good partnership. It mm-hmm. will be a nice duo mm-hmm. when Zia comes in. Because if you look at the body movement if you look at their placement of the pitch, they mm-hmm. have really good movement on the pitch, mm-hmm. good runs, they're not lazy, mm-hmm. they're everywhere on the pitch, yeah. so give them time. You just don't hit the ground running on the first Yeah, game. everything is time, but up a ball. Not everyone is Bruno Fernandes, not, not a, everyone is, is given a penalty to take. Yeah, when you are a ball, uh-huh. people should know that um, it, it, takes time. it takes time in everything, yeah. but if you... Uh, okay, just start when you go poor. Everything will go by in the but there's a time here that you can make a face. Yeah, yeah. Transition. The transition phase. So but just for me, also, also, Lampard has a big, big hand on this. He should know where to play Havertz. Because for me, Havertz, I feel like Havertz really needs to play as a camp. Yeah, but you know, if you look at the games he played at Bilbao Leverkusen, mm-hmm. he played 43% as a cam, uh, that was thirty percent as a right wing, yeah. and the other percentage as a false striker. Yeah, yeah. And he played well. So I think what he was trying and to funny do thing, he was trying to give Mount also some minutes. Funny thing, also, Vana plays in somehow in the same style. Yeah, he likes going to the flanks, mm-hmm. coming inside, yeah. going to the flanks. Mm-hmm. So for me, guys, get ready for this. Mm-hmm. Get ready for this. Yeah, get ready for a very quick transition from Chelsea. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I'll jump ship for, for a moment. I want to talk about uh, the the thing you've said about uh, 
Ziek, Vana, Havertz. You know, that's what Ronald Koeman is trying to do at first. I saw the game yesterday because he explained to everyone, look, Coutinho can play as a right, left midfielder and a CM. Griezmann plays as a striker, a CM, and a left midfielder. Messi can play on the right, CM, and as a striker. Trincao can play on the le- right, left. So, the basis of playing both of the, all the four of those guys is to so they can rotate when the game is. It will put more pressure on the defenders, which will open up the defense, and it will be easier to penetrate. So, Simple. So, anyway, so that's what Chelsea are doing. For me, during the Brighton Chelsea game, for me, one of the match was our boy. Jared Lamptey. For me, we, uh, I, I'm with you. Yeah. We saw that game. That's why I'm saying shocking. Jared Lamptey was a shocker. Defender <sighs> Jared Lamptey made more tackles and interceptions than Arteta. any of his Brighton Sign him in another impressive display. Why did we take Cedric to Nakuna Kijana Mzuri Kama Jared Lamptey? Cedric is still at us now. Yeah, but it's called a penalty to help us win this. We fall down. It's called a... Uh, we were? Go, go I don't know. Anyways, enough of the game week. We mm-hmm. finish off with the game week we stats. Done. Game week news. Mm-hmm. Game week 2 is underway this Saturday, 19th September, with Everton versus West Rome kicking off the first game day. Oh, your prediction there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Last time you put me in the corner. Anyway, my predictions for that Everton 3 West Brom. Hey! Three Everton two. 3 2. Yeah. Me, I'm going for a 3 nil drabbing of West Brom. If they come with that three stupid 3 5 2 formation again. But if they change the formation to. Ah, I'm sorry, I, can, I just can't support. You'll be beaten 3 nil. Everton 3 West Brom nil. The other game will be Leeds versus Fulham. What's, what's your prediction? Leeds all the way, man. I. I Fucking happy, in love with the Leeds. Happy, happy. Two one. No, they met last year at the championship. It was the gold fest. So it will be four one. <laughs> For me, the game will end at four two. Leeds. Yeah. Yes, baby. I well, love Leeds. This is my so second team, but <laughs> another good game on that day. Uh, what do I jig on a rudy shule? Next game. Cool if it's opening day is on Monday. Okay. With your head you come on Friday. Cool. Are you serious with your life? It's okay. It's okay. okay. The Guys, re- I'm a big, big United fan. And for me this season, I have one simple motto. Nah. Zero expectations from United. No. Zero disappointment. These guys are starting to copy us as an old fan. Because we didn't have any expectation last season. We want things. If we... You won't win things without zero expectation. You stay the way you have are. Zero that will be the way. Yeah. Okay. I have zero expectation. Let me so, start. Let me, because you're Man United. Fan, Man United. Let me say my Crystal prediction. Palace. Let me say my okay. prediction Tell before you. Because of it, say your team. Me, I think this game there will be one penalty for Bruno Fernandes. Okay. In the fifteenth minute, Marshall will be tripped. Donny Van der Beek will score, and there will be also a third goal, which will be a stunner. From Rashford, all Greenwood. Huh. Those are three goals, and Zaha will uh, assist uh, Ayu for a goal. So it will be three one. No clean sheet for these guys. Three one. Okay. Even three one. Uh-huh. For me, the game will end. Crystal Palace two, Man United one. I've never seen a stupid fan like this. Okay, stupid fan. Me, I don't have expectation, but at least there are some games you should be proud of. You know. Uh, okay, let's. The next team is. That's my first prediction. My mm. second prediction: Man United two, Crystal Palace zero. Ah, that's 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 a fair prediction. Yeah. Right? So those are my two predictions for the game. Uh-huh. The other late night kickoff for uh, Saturday. Let's is, go to Sunday. Is Arsenal oh. versus the London derby? You see, we're starting in London derby, London derby. Arsenal mm-hmm. versus West Ham. That's a, an obvious game. Arsenal will thrash West Ham. Three goals to nil. We as Arsenal fans do not underestimate any team. Any team. I will say it will be a tough game for us, Arsenal versus West Ham. The game will end maybe 3 1 or 2 1. Anyways, let's skip to Sunday. Super Sunday. Southampton 2, Spurs 1. I'm sorry. Southampton versus Spurs. I just have to say it. Impulse. I'm I'm sorry. For me, the game will end in a draw or Spurs might win. Southampton 2, Spurs. I just said this team. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. Two one. 
The next Ink game things. of Sunday is Newcastle versus Brighton. Oh, that's a good game. That's a good game. Very good game, actually. Shit. Newcastle. I, I think Newcastle will win that game. Two goals to name. Ah. Seriously. That's my prediction. It's just a prediction, man. Say your prediction. 2-2. Two, two. This is a game for 2-2, two, two, man. You didn't watch the Chelsea versus Brighton game? Misawa. Here is prediction. Yako. Usini force ku penda prediction. Awe kuenda huko. Usini force ku predict. Awe kuenda huko. Guys, guys. This guy is so unfair and so bad. The, no, I, no. I like, actually you see me. Ah, ah. Here is your prediction. Yako. Okay, tell me why do you think Newcastle no. will win. No. Ah, ah. Here is your prediction. Yako. No, just tell me why. For me, Newcastle are so fast on the attack. Really good at defending. Really good. And really good at spoiling builders. I only accept the other thing mm. I'm telling you why Brighton will be beaten. They're so slow in everything. You did you watch the Chelsea versus yeah, Brighton game? I watched it. You remember the way the transitions were fast? They were fast, but so slow. Me I expect in you to say delivering their transitions. Me I only I expect you to say they, they don't have a striker. It's not about a striker. They're just Mope was out of form. Uh, Mope is Mope is never is never in form. No, he's good because he's last season he scored nine goals, which is a good return for a player. Form. He just plays good when he meets Arsenal. So anyway, that's your yeah. prediction. Me, that's my prediction. So why, why do you have to bring about? Anyway, the Super Sunday this? match. We talked about this. Chelsea versus Liverpool. That's a shocker game. That's a good game. I don't know how to predict that game. I don't so <laughs> hopefully, guys, the game starts at six thirty. So hopefully we do our watch along. Hopefully, hopefully if everything yeah. comes okay, everything yeah. is set up okay. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. So the late kick off for that Sunday night is Leicester versus Burnley. <laughs> that's also a tricky game because Chelsea versus Liverpool predict. Damn, that's a hard game because I think that Ziyech will be back or not. I don't. Know. If I'm hoping, I'm hoping he'll be back. Thiago Silva already came back. Yeah. So I think it will be. It will be a, a draw, a 1-1 one, one draw, 2-2. Two, two. Or a narrow loss, 2-1. Two, two, That's what I'm going to say. I won't say who will win. For me, Chelsea will, will pull off as a surprise. Hopefully, hopefully. I won't say anything, hopefully. Two, two. Oh, yeah, Leicester, I mean, let's go to Leicester Burnley. Leicester Burnley finish of the night, Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Leicester winning one goal to nil. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm this one? I don't know yeah. if there's some juju or something. Bandy likes laying down the game. And usually you know, one of their one of their biggest weaknesses. One of their best attributes is slowing down the game. But, but one of their biggest weaknesses they slow down the game and they also slow down. But we've not seen them play yet. You don't know what they but have. But that's their normal. But also they like pulling out surprises. Yeah. With Rodriguez. Yeah, Rodriguez would yeah and Wood. Anyway, Monday night football, Aston Villa versus Sheffield. Two nil. No, two 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 one. Two one sorry, two one. Ah, uh, for me, I think Sheffield will win the cells. No, 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 no. I mean, I think Aston Villa will win because they have done fantastic signing. It will be their first game, yeah. and with our goal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. With their new goalkeeper signing, Amy Martinez, they will, it will help them show by their defense well because they have also mixed defense. Um, uh, imagine they have Marvelon Kamba as a defensive mid or Douglas Lewis. I think that they are good. Jack Grealish, imagine it. Oli Watkins. That is the top scorer of the championship. I am certain he will score. Good anyway, goal. Sheffield, I give Sheffield two goals. Aston Villa one. The late kickoff for Monday Night Football is Wolves versus Man City. That's a nice game. I won't miss that game. You are sure? Yeah. And Man City five. Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> the game will end Man City 3, Wolves 1 or 2. Man City 5. It won't be 5. This guy is out, he's crazy. His head is out. Yani amechizu mjamuelewe majama because he's... Anyway, good news, good news to the Bundesliga fans. It goes, it comes back tomorrow with a nice game from Bayern versus Schalke. Very nice game. 4 nil. <laughs> Very nice game. The other games go on on Saturday. Uh-huh. Actually, also the Bayern, the Bundesliga teams actually also had a had the games. The Pokal Cup. Yeah, mm-hmm. where Dortmund thrashed Dalsberg five. Bolin. Mm-hmm. With our boy, 
playing nice. I know you like Dortmund. Even you wore yeah, yellow today. Yeah. He wore also yellow today because No, of no, Dortmund. no, no. It's a Dortmund jersey. A, a retro jersey. Oh, it's a retro jersey. Yeah, you see? it's a retro jersey. You wore a Dortmund yeah. retro jersey today. You know, For this sure. jersey is the year which they almost got relegated. I don't know where he was. He just... <laughs> I think that's why when he wears this Dortmund always lose. I told you. Anyway. Change jerseys. It's so nice. Football is coming back everywhere. Yeah, finally. So, we can go, get out of the house sometime. Let's, let's go to the madness. <sighs> what about League One? League One, okay. PSG had some matches. Before I go to... I delve deeper to uh, League One. I want to say something about PSG. There was a terrific game of PSG and Marseille. That was the game. I've never seen it. And El Clasico recreated anywhere. Even the London Derby is nothing. Not London is nothing. Yeah. Manchester Liverpool is nothing. Yeah. Manchester Derby nothing. Nothing. That was El Clasico. To in inside world. Derby Newcastle Sunderland. That is shit. That is nothing. That was. Ali Zamalek. It's nothing. That was an El Clasico <sighs> Derby recreated by <sighs> France. French. <laughs> five red cards. <laughs> five. How do you get five red cards? <laughs> That was the most red cards ever in this century. No, that's the second most red card in PSG this century. PSG got three red cards. Mm-hmm. With Marseille getting two red cards. Yeah, Florian Tovin scored a fantastic goal from a free kick, which, any. It was the best ever derby. I wanted everyone to be given a red card. That's the problem with me. I just love war. I so feel like PSG, you... PSG finished the game with. Eight players. Eight players. And team. how many yellow cards? It was around ten. Yeah. <laughs> around ten, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Anyway, Montpellier beat Leon, Olympic Leon, another shocker. What's happening in League One? It has stopped being a farmer's league. The number one team in League One currently is Rene. <laughs> they have seven points in three games. Um, as we look at the Things what were happening, man. It was one of the best uh, games ever, and I would like to give a shout out to Florent Oven. The guy has been Marseille's king. He has been involved in uh, the last four league one goals for Marseille. He has two goals and two assists, and he he's just fantastic for me. So league one, that is how it is. Everyone is getting red cards. It's for fun there. Yeah. Then yeah. Even, I even in that game, people Montpellier game, people got red cards. Two red cards. Yeah, one Leon. Yesterday and, uh, PSG played with Mets. Uh, Mets and they won the game. One new. A stupid drag for a goal. Yeah. Uh, also got red cards. Uh, Diallo, the defender, yeah. got a red card. Anyway. It looks like I'll have to start watching that league. We it have so no, well, we have to watch in all leagues yeah. this time round. Yeah. We have to. Anyway, we usually say that but fuck it, okay. Anyway, mm-hmm. let's go to the transfer center news. Mm-hmm. Where madness. This transfer center. This transfer mm-hmm. season has been Complete madness. You sure? Anyway, good news for Spurs fans as Bay leaves Real's training ground. He went to the training ground today morning mm. and he's left. See, he went to pack his thing. Maybe. Yeah, Gareth Bale has left Real Madrid's training ground and he is on his way to London on Friday as he edges closer to a Tottenham return. Before you continue, I, to, I just have one start. Uh-huh. Bale never finished above us more. <laughs> so when he comes, what does that mean? So, Gareth Bale has been having part of his medical in Madrid ahead of a return to Tottenham. Mm-hmm. It's worth a reminder that the deal is not yet done, but significant obstacles have been overcome. And free, and every expectation he'll be a Spurs player again. So, bro, 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 so, bro, bro just a question for you to continue. Uh-huh. Um, uh, what do you think about that transfer? Honestly, it's a nice one. In terms of Manchester United, not Tottenham, because he was. I'm not. I'm not just giving you. A in terms of United, it, it was also okay because Bale is a very, very experienced player, mm-hmm. and having him for loan for a year is actually the best thing ever you could ever get because Bale is Bale. But you remember his so, contract is ending at two years from now. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I, me, I knew that my United are going to be sharp on this deal. I thought that you are going to take him on loan for two years. Yeah. Then you get him on a free. Yeah, a free transfer. And then you give him a two year. Yeah, contract. that was the best deal ever. That was the best way ever to deal with Bale because Bale. You can't buy Bale, Bale now. Bale, Bale yeah. is a player who can do wonders in your club. He's a player who can teach a lot of people about football. Mm-hmm. He can do wonders in your club, but anyway, Mourinho having him is also a good thing. Yeah, for the Tottenham side because Tottenham, a left back. yeah, 
Yeah. Obviously. Anyway, Tottenham are hitting a double on also on Sergio Reguilon. Another Man United target. What's and happening? Another Real Madrid player. So I don't know what if. So I don't know what's happening. Is Real Madrid missing Mourinho, or is Mourinho missing Real Madrid, or what's happening? What the fuck is happening? No, he's just getting top-notch talent from them. I told you one year ago, Sergio uh, Reguilon is a fantastic player. Reguilon should be in the Premier League. Anyway, other good news. The other good news goes to Liverpool fans. <laughs> That's bad news to everyone. Thiago to Especially Liverpool me. will happen. Who say that? Thiago to Liverpool. Oh, will Thiago to Liverpool will happen. So yeah, yeah. Thiago Alcantara. But I think uh, we not them also will leave uh, Liverpool for back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they are signing Thiago, that means they're selling. So what if they we keep both of them? Then, then just listen to me. Then. They can play them all. Imagine Thiago with Hadlo and Fabinho. What about Keita? What about Henderson? That can be called. Uh, it's called what depth. Sport but for depth. me, you saying sport that depth. you saying that mm. means a lot because for them having such a squad means they have the guns to retain the cup. Yeah. 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 They will obviously, obviously be okay. So. Anyway, Hansi Flick confirms Thiago move. Ban Munico Hansi Flick has confirmed Thiago Alacantara is leaving club is leaving the club to join Liverpool. He said and I quote, Thiago was an exceptional player for seven years with Bayern Munich. Mm-hmm. It was a joy working with him. I congratulate Jürgen Klopp. Mm-hmm. He gets a top player and a sensational person. Honestly, so just been, uh... to Liverpool fans, that's a done deal. To Tottenham fans, bail mm. Regulon to fly to London on Friday. Oh man. Oh man. What's happening to Man United and Arsenal? Well, wait. Since it's only Arsenal. I'm certain nearly on a transfer room of Mahali. I've forgotten the place, if I'm not wrong or right. You come on, you're doubting me, we are almost signing a goalkeeper called from Dijon. Yeah, it's a I think it's a done deal for me. Yeah, so we'll we are signing, at least you are signing some people. Who, what are you doing? So, so Man United. Yeah, leave us leave us out of this. The fallen of we are Sanchez. almost signing Runara. Run, he's called who? Runara. Something like that. Okay, he's a second goalkeeper. I could have my bench. I'm as a my bench. Dion. Team Billy Karibu is relegated. I don't understand. For me, for me, first of all. I'm tired of hearing the word Sancho, the name Sancho, because I think it's fallen out with Manchester. Regulon has fallen out with Manchester. No, Mliringa. Bell has fallen out with Manchester. No, this guy's acting like bitches. Thiago. Because they thought, oh, we don't do buyback. If we, Arsenal, we are loaning Sebaios for a second year in a row and we've not bought him, why can't Manu, when you want to shit, they don't lift anything, they only lift their dicks up, nothing else? Thiago also. We've fallen off with Thiago Alcantara. We've fallen off with Alex Sorry, Dennis. Sorry, sorry. And we're just there. No, we the only of signed of... Donny Van de Beek. It causes depression, you know? Depression. Anyway, Leverkusen are keen on Kolasinac. Yes! What a kind of. What a kind of. Hey, where you are? Even if the Bible says. If this eye makes you sin, cut it off. So Colasinas makes us lose. Let's cut that motherfucker off. It will be a sign we start cutting people off. Colasinas is the toy. Unfortunately, uh, there are some rumors that uh, Torreira is also leaving. He's going to Torino. If I'm um, not uh, wrong, senor. Uh, Torreira uh, is leaving. Yeah. I think because he also is home. Torino. Senior. Italy. Yeah, he's anyway, going speaking of Italy, yeah. Sierra will, will also start on Saturday mm-hmm. with matches from Fiorentina versus Torino, Verona versus Roma, mm-hmm. Parma Napoli. That's a nice game. You know, Croton, you know, Croton, Sao Saulo, Cagliari, Juventus, Sampdoria. Also, La Liga also. La Liga also started on the yeah. same. La Liga started on Sunday. It will be match day two. Match day two. Match day two on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Will Barcelona and Real Madrid be back? Yeah, they will be back. Okay. No, I'm not sure. 
Um, yeah, yeah, they will be back. They will be back. Are you Real sure? Madrid will be playing Real Sociedad on Saturday. Mm-hmm. And Barcelona will be playing Villarreal. Are you sure? It's on this weekend or next weekend? Because I thought Baka have, are having a friendly that day. Oh, it's on the other weekend. So. The other weekend? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Baka are playing on the other weekend. You know you're weekend. the guy who updates me, so don't fuck me up. Baka are playing on 27th the other weekend. Are you sure? Yeah. Don't fuck me up. Real Madrid are playing on 20th. You remember the day you fucked me up, told me I on the playing on a Monday? Yeah, so... I went, did stupid thing, then Monday there was no football. Yeah. Kumbi was a friendly entry. You don't do that again. Baka are to play on the 27th. Okay. Yo, so guys, anyway, hope you guys had fun. Uh, me, I just love this, Kabisa. I just love the way football is back. We have many things to do. I'm so sorry, everyone, that we normally don't do the watch along. There's some few technical issues we're just trying to solve. In his side, is okay. He can do it. But me, my side, I promise you that uh, by this weekend, we'll try and do something new. Uh, watch along to Irudisha Kamakawira. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the love you guys give us, guys. Thank you mm-hmm. so much for the love. We thank you so much. By the way, I have to tell them something. Thank you for the 1K, man. Thank you for the 1K. Yeah, we have 1K viewers. In uh, Facebook, yeah. 1.1K. We are almost going to 1.5. I want to also say thank you to Instagram, we're 800. Almost also going to 1K. Twitter to me like a kidogo, but it's boring. Yeah, but also we have to say. Thank you to also all of our followers on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Kilam, Asantini Sana. I've been your guy, your simple host, uh, Brad. Uyu, you know him. I'm, I'm, I'm Ike. Thank you so much, guys, for uh-huh. tuning in. I'm Ike. Congratulations to Obama Young signing a new contract. Obama Young. Obama who? Obama Black Lad. Obama what? Obama Black Lad. Obama Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it was a nice feeling for us and all fans because it has been a very nice, a very, very shitty breakup with us and all yeah, the top players. Yeah, there was a, a Dutchman explain, who... Explain, explain that, explain that. We, okay, it started with Nasri, then uh, who else? Uh, Nasri, Fabregas, Ashley Fabregas, Cole. Ashley Cole. Then there was a guy who was on loan. I, I don't say we bought him. He was on loan for us because he was a striker. He was a Dutch striker. He, people thought he was a flying Dutchman, but he wasn't flying. He was just useless. He didn't help us with anything. His goals never won us anything. His goals never took us anywhere. So he just scored, I think, 50 goals in the Premier League. The others are Arsenal's. So it's a guy called RVP. Uh, so you know him, though his name is... So. Alexis Sanchez. Who, ah, then we gave them one of the best players who had the best seasons of his entire career. They, they introduced him playing with the piano. Yeah. Kumbi the nigger left all his talent on that piano, and that piano is almost being used to bring Sancho to Old <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Hey. Anyway, anyway, thank you so much. It's time for us to say goodbye. Um, follow us at uh, Twitter Football Today KE, Instagram Football Today Show KE, and uh, what else? Facebook here yeah. Football Today Show KE. Everywhere, everywhere. Follow us. Thank you so much for the support, Majama. We love you all. And Twanani, uh, maybe Kesho Kutua. Yeah, yeah. Remember, guys, no mask, no flex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no matter. No matter. What the fuck? Thank you so much, guys. May God bless you. May Allah bless you also. May <laughs> your so ever God bless you. It's been real. Remember, this is the FTS free time segment. I show by the fans and for the fans. Mm-hmm. Remember, no rubber, no ride. Right.